right here and you here i'm kanitia and if you're already watching my one piece chill channel welcome back today we are going to read the newest chapter of one piece number 1053 so let's see what it has let's go wait that's the cover for jump with one piece oh it's so cute wait it's with Uta. so wait oh and now i'm glad i have watched one piece film red teaser trailer already because now i recognize uta from there oh that's so cute i love this okay i'm very excited for this film but let's proceed with the chapter one piece odyssey wait that's some other thing again i don't recognize this character in the in the front okay so on the double colored cover page so to say there is a character with a very cute uh, very cute girl with short black hair and kind of green eyes and i don't think i re i think one piece odyssey is a game right okay let me know what this is about because the cover the first cover was about film red with uta and this one is about one piece odyssey okay now we are going into the chapter okay it is called the new emperors okay so we are finally going to see the bounties let's see <sighs> all shook up what is the meaning of this photo we never approved it and I thought we told you to remove the D. Okay, so... No, so we weren't told about that. The photo was sent in by CP Zero's Guernica Sama. Okay, so in the newspaper, the photos, they were not kind of confirmed with world government. And now they are unhappy about the D. And let's see, like everyone we told you to remove the d let's see reprinted the world cannot be permitted to see this but we've been trying to contract the printers but i'm afraid it's no use the case uh, then sees distribution immediately and now we see morgan and he is happy wait is this all this info the photo was sent by cp zero's agent Okay, so they thought it would be okay to publish it. Uh, but I would say kind of Morgan's, he is not very, how to say it, he's not such a loyal lab dog, right? He likes to stir the pot. So maybe he knew that it would not be a good idea with world government to print this, but he wanted to do this. Because now he is laughing. <laughs> what a mystifying appearance. All right, people, it's up to us to spread this around the globe. Cypher Paul's transmission from Wana broke off right after they spotted Big Mom's ship. Oh, so they met, I guess. The gears of the world won't stop turning. I won't let their propaganda slide when the real story is this thrilling. Okay, that's exciting. That's exciting. Yes, fight, fight propaganda. Okay, wait, wait, that's a double page. Let's read firstly what happens here and then I look because I caught a glimpse of the bounties but I didn't read them yet. So let's see, Morgan says, it's like a live show. I can't get enough. The bombshell news of the defeat of the emperors, Big Mom and Kaida, spread very rapidly around the world. The three captains responsible for ending their decades of dominion. Okay, there's just some random people around the world uh, looking at them. So these are going to be their posters, Kid, Law and Luffy, right? Let's see. <laughs> we all issued an extraordinary bounty by the government. Use this Captain Kid. Oh my god, you can't even read it. <laughs> three billion, right? It's three billion. Mon Wait, they all have three billion. Okay. Monkey D. Luffy, Trafalgar Law, and Eustace Captain Kid. And this, someone took this photos like mid fight. Wait. They said CP sent them the photo and we have the photo of Luffy. This is the most incriminating because yeah, kid law kind of we saw them like this already, right? But photo of Luffy 
is in his Nika form, in his joy boy form, and that is what world government doesn't want anyone to see, that he is Monkey D. Luffy, who possesses this very important fruit, and we know one CP was there on the skull, so maybe he survived, he took this photo and sent it, what? <laughs> okay, at least that's plausible, like he could technically do this if he survived, right? Okay, <laughs> it's kind of nice, they all have the same bounty. What? Three billion? Boss, Captain, that's amazing! Okay, you know, don't want everyone is kind of reacting to this, yeah, after I push showed them the posters. Hey, where did that off kid run off to? Apu asks. He had a funny look in his eye. Hmm, I wonder. Got a bit of the flower capital, killer explains. Fa 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 fa. It's kid we are talking about. There's only one thing on his mind. Let's follow him. I heard there's a festival today. Perfect. Let's celebrate. Looks like things are getting complicated, law adds. It's like. The war has ended and we have won, but the gears are turning, so we can't kind of rest yet, we can't be calm yet. The storm might be still coming, you know? <laughs> Wait, we shall start with a course of cloud ear mushroom and crown daisy soup, then a plate of gisei tofu, followed by a bowl of lotus roots. So that's the chef. And they're showing us the dishes. That's nice. That's nice. We also have small sunomono dishes as a side. Oh yes, do not forget the tall bowl. Everything must be impeccable. These are not your run of the mill patrons. Make sure everything is meshed and boiled properly. And triple check for poison. Okay, that's for the feast that Mama has ordered, obviously. That's sweet. A bit. Oh, I have to save this page and Google these dishes. This is really interesting. Now then, time to serve. I put everything I have into this menu. Oh, I would say, I wanted to say it's a shame Big Mom can't try this and enjoy it. But she was mostly about sweets, so maybe she wouldn't appreciate it this much. <laughs> I wonder, did she like die 100% dead or just defeated? I think it was implied that they are both dead, she and Kaido. It is truly a full course meal, fit for a shogun. Please enjoy. Wait, why there's only Jinbei ready to enjoy it? What the heck? Wow, it looks delicious. Thank you for all your effort. I'm afraid the others couldn't wait the full two hours. From the sound of it, they are really going to town now there, aren't they? So that is kind of the official feast and it the chef he took the time to make everything perfect but nobody wanted to wait that long so they're already having fun kind of outside everything is free tonight free they've got shooting games and goldfish scooping there's chocolate bananas so that's like a classical japanese festival like usually seen manga with goldfish scooping and chocolate bananas yeah Oh, that's so exciting! Yeah, they're having fun! <gasps> we see Luffy and Yamato! Saint Chopper, of course! And just some random kids in the background! Oh, they're so happy! I think Luffy and Yamato's kind of chemistry, friend chemistry, is very cute. Yakisoba! Takayaki! Oh, I love Takayaki! Look! Grilled squid and candy apples! Cotton candy too! I bet that's Chopper who said that! <laughs> this is my first festival! It's amazing! I think that's probably was said by one of the children. That's my first festival. That's amazing! Or maybe it was Yamata actually, because I bet Yamata also couldn't enjoy any like full-on normal happy festivals, right? Woo! You go, Brooke! Yeah! Oh, Brooke is singing! Brooke is singing for them, like, singing or playing. Oh, maybe just playing. Yeah, listen up! This next number was a favorite of Brother Odin. It's called Moon Princess. Wait, they're playing together! Hiyori and Brooke are playing together. Oh, that's so cute! Princess Hiyori! Oh my gosh, her fans are here. 
with fans where Hiyori is written on the fan. Okay, everyone is on the mood. Yeah, she's very cute and they love her duo with Brooke. Oh, it's a shame they are so little here. You can't really see them up close. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are going to a different scene because it would be nice to see them kind of in full Brooke and Hiyori are just making music together. That's so sweet. We are going to Castle Basement meanwhile. <gasps> Wait, to Kakeshi Dolls. I remember there were very interesting theories about Kakeshi Dolls because the kind of souls of children could be held in them or something like that. Like, why are they here in the basement? Because we were told about them. So maybe there's going to be something about this? You like them? Nico Robin, Tenguyama asks. And Robin with a very pretty hairstyle here. Oh my gosh, she's, she's super cute here, super cute. Oh, Tengu-san, how do you know my name? You are looking at my personal collection, he answers. Okay, by the way, by the way, we see Robin, because in the previous chapter I was told, hey, but Robin is not here, is she okay? Is she already captured? She's still here so far. She's fine. They are my majestic Kakeshi dolls. Cute, aren't they? Tenguyama says. That would be an interesting twist if he was like a villain suddenly and everything goes to hell. <laughs> because what are these Kakeshi dolls? Why is his collection in a castle basement? What is going on? She's like, not really. They are not really cute. Huh? Why would your collection be down here? She asks. This was originally something of a secret hobby room for me, he answers. However, I ended up imprisoned down here for a number of years. Okay, so th there's not like kind of villain twist because he was imprisoned here for a number of years, right? Imprisoned? I thought you were a swordsmith. Who exactly are you? Well, it, everyone could be imprisoned who supported Odin, but I guess there's something to it. I took to smithing because I had talent for it, he explains, but it was always just a hobby. Governing is such very work after all. Wait, so he was also... Do you know... I think we already saw all the previous bosses of the provinces, so to say. Um, I forget the right word. So this has to be something else. Governing is a very work. Huh? What? <gasps> He's taking off his mask. I'm Kazuki Sukiyaki, father. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I didn't. Ex father of Kazuki Oden. Okay. <laughs> I just, I just couldn't read it. What the? <laughs> I thought. I. I. I just. <laughs> I didn't see it coming at all. What? I thought he died. Did he like hid like a freaking covert? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He said he was imprisoned. So he didn't die. He was imprisoned. Odin thought that he was kind of poisoned and died by Orochi. Uh, but in reality, he was just hidden here and imprisoned. And he outlived his own son. Holy crap. <laughs> what? Okay, <laughs> trying to concentrate now, <laughs> father of Kazuki Oden, Robin is mildly shocked, <laughs> not as much as me, does Momo-chan know about this, yeah, that's like his, Momo is his grandson, I think it would be nice for him, like, he can't see his son anymore because he's dead, but at least he could uh, and, uh, talk to his grandson and restore this family connection. But he says he does not, and I do not intend to tell him. I would not be surprised if some of his retainers have deduced my identity, but how could I possibly show my face now? I'm the one who allowed Orochi to come to power. Okay, I said that he hid like a covert first uh, fought, but then I said, oh no, no, he was in prison, so he couldn't do anything, right? But still, he doesn't feel like that's um, enough to free him of guilt because he let everything come to this point where he was imprisoned and his country was overtaken by Orochi and his goons. So he does feel guilty and feels like he can't 
really show his face to his uh, grandchild, grandchildren here also. I was barely able to escape this room. By the time I had, Odin was already dead and one had changed. Okay, so he was in prison. Then he did manage to escape and learn that Odin was already dead and one had changed. So he felt like he can't do anything now. And he was already old, so he couldn't really fight. Uh, contemplated committing seppuku there and then. Yeah, typical wannabe behavior. I understand like he felt. That's understandable why he thought that. Tengu san. It should be somewhere in this country, Robin says. The ancient weapon Pluton or Pluton, however you say this. In Russian you say Pluton. But anyways, so the ancient weapon Pluton should be in Wana. At least that's what the Poneglyph said in Alabasta. Oh. Wait! She read Poneglyph in Alabasta and she said it's just some history, there's nothing here, so she did lie. There was information, she just didn't want to give it out, she just kept it to herself. So the ancient weapon Pluton is here. I really like the idea someone um, someone mentioned, I don't remember where did I see it, that like Shirahoshi, she is a weapon, right? So Pluton could also be a human, like Momo. Momo can talk to Zunisha, for example, right? Uh, so maybe while Shirahoshi, she can kind of command the sea monster, sea creatures, Momo would be this Pluton who can command some kind of earth creatures or something like that. Well, Tama kind of can command earth creatures though, but that's a fruit that's kind of different, I guess. Um, yeah, so I really liked this idea, but let's see where we are going with this. Um, okay, at least, um, yeah, and he says indeed it is here with a very serious expression. Then we are going to form a prison mine in Udon and something is happening here. Wait, these are beast pirates, and they are being killed by roots. Wait, there's queen and king here also, king son, queen son, and they are like being drained of their life juices, I would say, of water in their bodies or something like this. Is this green bull's ability? But why would he go for them? And maybe he's still searching for Robin? Let's see. Hey, a post-diet physique doesn't suit me, you hear? Yeah, because as I said, like, I wouldn't... No, I did recognize Queen, I did recognize him. But he is like an old man, a very thin old... <laughs> yeah, a very thin old man. Yeah, I think it, it is Green Bull, it is him, it is him. Because we are already in the thought he has some kind of how to say it, earth nature related ability so it looks like his ability is related to nature and thanks to these roots he can kind of squeeze out the life juices out of people making them lose their age their water i think it looks more like their water and fat also judging by queen let's see so like plants they need resources to grow so his plants are taking these resources from people at least that's my theory so far. Give it a rest already at my rank. I'd lose face if I let a few commanders like you get the best of me. The navy doesn't have manpower to waste on the mess you've left us. Not that I expected much of you, bossos. He alone had no problem fighting queen and king okay king was you can even see like still some bandages from fight with zora so maybe they're kind of still tired from all this fighting in the negashima war but still he alone against them both and some riffraff had no problems like look at him he has no scratch on himself i think well his figure is very small here but it seems it was super easy for him glug glug yeah you see his roots they are drinking water just straight from a barrel so are drinking 
they need water but human body consists of like many percents like some ridiculous number like 80 <laughs> percent okay maybe not 80 all right but a lot of water we have a lot of water in us ring ring okay someone is calling him maybe to ask hey did you acquire nika robin or maybe that was part of his job too to get rid of king and queen also since um kai is down maybe he didn't want there to be kind of anyone left who was close to kai in power <gasps> wait we got a reveal we got a reveal his face is pretty ugly <laughs> Ah, oh, that booze wasn't anything special. It sh you should have let it age longer. So it wasn't water, it was alcohol. Hello, this is... Yeah, I am in Wana. Navy Headquarters Admiral uh, Rukogu. But I think his name is also Green Bull. So may I call him Green Bull because I'm very bad at pronouncing his name. Or Aramaki. Aramaki, that's very pretty. Okay, I can call him Aramaki. He has, oh no, he does have a few scratches on him, uh, but not much. Uh, he looks very rough and tough, should I say. And these roots are coming from his hand, like from his fingers, like his fingers are becoming roots. Bring a warship over, he asks. By the way, his pants also look super cool, I love them. Huh? Oh, look at Don't tell Sakazuki-san what I'm up to. Got it? See ya. Okay, don't tell him what I'm up to, so he's kind of going rogue, doing what he wants to do. I've always dug his style, no half measures. I'm itching to get his approval. I can see it now. So he wants to see, he seeks approval of Sakazuki. But Sakazuki doesn't have to know what he's doing. Okay, I can see it now. He's sure to give me an utter boy if I bring him this brat's head. And he looks at Luffy's photo on a wanted poster. <clears throat> so he doesn't want Sakazuki to know because he wants it to be a surprise. He is not after Robin. He is after Luffy. Flower Capital. One more time from the top to the ninja pirate Ming Samurai Alliance! Yeah! Who's that? Keep going! To the retainers, Yakuza and the rest of Wana! That's Luffy! They don't know who this is. They think that the hero who helped uh, their side win that he has already left Wana. They don't know who this guy is. Oh, Luffy is here. There's still bandages on him and he looks super cute. Way to go! You all fought great! They'll leave the toast into you. Yeah, you are our chief rail here. Yeah, I think he's doing great. And Momo remembers he, their conversation. Don't tell anybody in one about me, Luffy asked. But why? Because I don't want to be a hero. Yeah, I, I get it. That's very Luffy. Like, he doesn't want um, this much, like, attention on himself and all of that. He doesn't want to be revered in any way, right? Uh, he's just happy that he helped them. That's all he needs. Stroke head. Kid runs to him. Huh? If I crush you here. Oh, that's what was on his mind. He wanted to crush Luffy. Okay. Was he mad that they have equal bounties? Did he want his to be higher? Or oh, he just uh, wants to fight his rival, so to say. <laughs> Luffy is very happy to see him. Jackie! They've been lit. What? Who? All right. Here's to all the feasts to come. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> he just uses his rubber arm to bring Kid closer to him so he can kind of hug him close and they can drink together. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that's... Oh! Now I see what has been lit. That's fireworks. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. They're super cute. They're super cute. I would love to see this in the episode of anime. I'm sure it would look fantastic. They would be colorful and so pretty. I'm sure they would spend some time on showing the scene because cheers let's drink and party till dawn everyone is yelling and you can see the scene where people are 
playing on the drums and you can see everyone in the crowd all our wanna characters there are still bandages on many of them who are fighting oh sanji has a lot of food in his mouth like a hamster oh that's cute rice is crying okay i see everyone is here ming souls so pirates samurai minks ninja uh, Shinobu, <laughs> Raiza, they are in a different frame still. Okay, pirates sure are rowdy. That's our Yakuza. This is the biggest and wildest festival I've ever seen. Is this Kinemon? Is Kinemon with his wife? Because there's Kinemon and there's someone leaning into him. And I wonder if this is his wife, Tsuru, or not. I can't tell. I can't tell. What do you think? I, it feels like her kimono, but we didn't see their real reunion. Oh, I feel robbed. We didn't, right? Okay, Tama with a candied apple. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and her friends are with her. That's adorable. That's adorable. Everyone in this festive kimono. Okay, this is the best page of the chapter. Nothing can beat it. I love it. That's a double page. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, another double page. And there's some important information. I'll cover it for now. So, we see also kid pirates and law pirates in a different order first law pirates then kid pirates okay i'm very happy to see them all beppo of course he eats a squid he looks super happy i love beppo <laughs> so much a uh, kid with luffy i want nothing to do with this crap kid is angry see here i came to kill you i don't really know what's going on on the outside but wait luffy has this reaction again cartoonish one i thought he would also have this when he's in his nika form in his joy boy form but now in just his regular human form he has this cartoonish eyes so it's kind of he unlocked it and now it will always be used uh, that's interesting i think that's a very interesting detail <gasps> I don't know okay previous page it was very beautiful okay it was the best page itself but this is oh my gosh Bucky. <laughs> we see, they announced the new emperors because we've only seen the bounties of our guys at first but we were also told in the previous chapter that they announced new emperors, right? And so on this page we see the bounties of the new emperors. So of course we know Red Hat Shanks, we know Blackbeard Teach, but also Straw Hat Luffy. Of course, yeah, Luffy. I would expect to see him as an emperor. It's cool, it's cool, but look, but look! The bombastic clone buggy is an emperor. Oh. I want more buggy in this manga. There's not enough buggy. There's not enough buggy. What is this? Oh my gosh. And he's... Oh my God. I'm so happy. Isn't the last time when we saw buggy, he was kind of worried because everyone was leaving and he was nervous and we thought, will he go to Shanks? Well, not all of us. Like some thought, what will he do? Will he hide again? Will he try to kind of do some bluff thing again? Will he try to join Shanks to be safe? But no, he's a freaking new emperor. He's... <laughs> Okay, we go to Green Bull again. They are really going whole hog on the music and festivities. Well, we Marines aren't in such a good mood, especially since the rest of the world is a real mess now. The times are changing. Okay, that's very interesting. And he asked for more ships, so Marine ships are coming. So we have still time before the storm basically so there is a storm coming 
Oh man, I'm a mess after this. Okay, this was an insane chapter. It was incredible. Everything, all the reveals. What? We got bounties. We got Odin's father. We got this beautiful fireworks. Watching how everyone is happy with Robin. She's fine. We saw the Green Bull reveal. We saw the new emperors. What could be better, right? So, after this fantastic chapter, it's only logical that we deserve a four-week break. Okay, 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 okay. I guess that's fair. <laughs> All right, I think that would be it for today. I really enjoyed this chapter. I hope you did too. So please share your thoughts on this and your favorite moment in the comments down below. That would be it for today. Thank you for watching and see ya! Thank you.